The scenes were catastrophic. Thousands of homes and businesses flooded. Even the army was called in. And the Lake District, one of Britain's most popular tourist spots, was left seriously wounded. Now, spring is sort of in the air and the tourists are starting to trickle back. It might look like it's business as usual, but talk to the people who live here and they'll tell you they're still very much living in the shadows of those dark days of last winter. This mobile phone footage shows a hotel in Glen Ridding, a village that was hit three times. Now the river's flowing gently and the hotel's being rebuilt. But Rob, who runs two businesses here, says with local tradesmen overworked and insurance slow to pay out, full recovery could take another year. It's been very difficult, yeah, very difficult three months. But, um, but we're determined, we're hardy Cumbrians and we won't be beaten, we'll, we'll just keep coming back bigger and stronger, hopefully. The government says it is standing squarely behind these communities and has invested £3 billion to aid recovery. But look, this is the A591, an arterial road that connects the North Lakes to the south. It's not due to reopen until May. Local businesses say that's costing up to a million pounds a day. To be perfectly honest, I think we've been let down somewhat. Nearly six months out of action for a main arterial road is not good enough. Do you feel that geography plays a part in that? I would say that that certainly plays a part. You know, if this was a bit further south, I, I wouldn't have seen a delay like this, would you? The people of Cumbria are resilient. They've looked after each other and are determined to bounce back. But behind that optimism is a fear that visitors will be put off returning and of what next winter might bring. Nina Warhurst, Five News.